Okay, good morning, Ridgewood. We are joined today by Miss Pinches. Miss Pinches, welcome. Hi, Miss Pinches. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, good. How's everybody? Doing all right. How are, uh, first of all, how are you doing? How's your family doing? How are you adapting to, uh, you know, it's been about, it's been a few weeks now at home. Um, how's everything going with you? Good. Thank you. We're fine. Everyone's good. Um, my nieces have figured out virtual and so over their parents, my mom's well. Everyone's good. Yeah, thank you. We're all adjusted. Hope you guys are well too. So, what are you what are you doing in all the 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 time that we have? I know we're we're doing a lot with the virtual learning, but in the in the spare time that you have, what are you doing to kind of stay busy and keep yourself occupied and and uh, entertained? Trying to, I guess, keep structure like everyone else is trying to and keep going with the same kind of day that I've led and trying to stay on schedule too. Um, it's nice to have time to read uh, books that I choose and don't have to necessarily teach because that's usually what we spend our time doing. So that's always a treat to be able to do that. And just a lot of time on the phone and trying to talk to people and just, like I said, kind of keep a schedule and some sort of normalcy going too. A lot of time outside, definitely. We've been so lucky with the sun being out. So a lot of time outside. Nice, what book are you currently reading? Um, non-school book, yeah, a book called Pachinko, which I started in August. So it's time, <laughs> it's time to finish it. <laughs> nice. Miss Pinches, I know you are a um, pretty accomplished marathon runner. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I started, um, I guess, I don't know, 17 years ago, maybe. And uh, I never intended on doing anything like that. Never thought that I could. Um, when I was in high school, I never even heard of a marathon, didn't know what that meant. And I had just kind of increased my running because I could, and I felt good doing it. And friends at the gym said, you're already kind of training for one. You might as well do it. And so the first race I ever ran was a marathon. I had never done a 5K, a 10K, a half, nothing. I just went in, uh, jumped right in, and then kind of got the obsessive part to it and fell in love with it. And uh, thankfully have been healthy enough to continue doing it for all these years. Um, was supposed to run one tomorrow, but of course that got canceled. So that's, that's okay. Uh, we'll do a virtual one maybe next week, but, um, I love it. And it's, I've been very lucky. Uh, my knees have held up and, and everything else too. So, um, I, they're very hard to do, but I am so appreciative that I can do them. And there's no feeling like getting to mile 26.2 and cross that finish line and, and knowing that that's behind you. So yeah, um, so it's a great, great blessing, great gift that I have that I, that I do them. I really love them. So we hear you saying them and uh, using marathons in the plural. How many marathons have you completed? 52. 52. 52. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a long time. It's taken me many years to do them. So some people do 52 a year. You know, people in the wow. running world, right, super, super high numbers when it comes to that. But um, yeah, 52. So That's incredible. Unbelievable. Um, I didn't know that. I knew you were a runner. I didn't know you were a 52 marathon runner. That's wild. So, um, so you, you teach English at the high school. Um, can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, when we get back into the building, what you're most looking forward to when you get back in the classroom with your kids and, um, um, you know, just a little bit about that as we, as we move forward here. Yeah, it'll be nice to just physically be in the same space. Um, you know, we're so connected virtually, which is such a gift. I keep saying like Google is saving the day with all of this. Um, but I, I, you know, I just space and being able to see their faces and kind of sitting together and going through the books and the conversation together. Um, it's great through Google Meet, but, you know, just be able to see like their facial reactions and be able to hear their questions right away and just kind of as a community go through the literature and talk about it. Just be nice to be together and kind of breathe the same air and, and just see each other. Um, and, um, so with, um, with the online learning, how has that been going for you just in terms of, um, you know, some of the, the technical stuff? I know that it's, it's not easy, but I do f I've been getting good feedback that things have been going pretty well. What's your perspective on, on how things have been going just in terms of keeping the, the classroom, those, those things that, um, that you're kind of just talking about from a virtual perspective? Um, you know, how's that been going for you personally? in the classroom. It's good. You know, at Ridgewood, we're so already well prepared for this because we're familiar with classroom and we're one-to-one. -one. So I think that was pretty easy. 
Um, I'm not a great technology person, so I've had to learn a lot in a week. Uh, but it's it's easy and it's nice to be able to, like I said, go on Google Meet and see their faces and hear their voices. Um, you know, we're so deep into the year too that I think students and teachers already understand each other really well. So um, you can also explain something or give instruction or guidance through writing on a document, and that could be understood by everybody too. So it's been it's been fine. Like I said, it'll be nice to be together again, but it's really not been any problem. My my eyes hurt from looking at the screen so much. That's my one complaint. Like a little bit of a headache and my eyes hurt from looking at the screen. But otherwise, it's really been really been fine. Yeah. All right. Before we enter the lightning round here, um, any if you had to give one piece of advice to your 1,700 students that are at home right now, what would it be? This is kind of a precious time. Like we have to grieve all the opportunities and events that have been canceled and that we were preparing for and we're looking forward to, for sure, that is something, you know, that has to be mourned. But this is kind of a sacred and precious time to just kind of, you know, fill your center and be home. And you guys are so busy all the time and it's, you know, you never have enough time at home. And a lot of kids are getting ready to make a big transition into adulthood. And, and I think it's really kind of, we'll look back on this and be like, that was really nice. Like, I know there's a lot of painful parts to this and this is not what we want to be doing, but I think it's really kind of a blessing and a nice gift to just kind of have time to, to be um, and get outside as much as you can. It makes such a big difference to be outside and be in the sun and breathe the fresh air. And I think that helps a lot too. It's Thank a great you. message. Yeah. The, beautiful. Um, all right. Lightning round. Quick questions. Okay. All okay. right. Yeah. Get ready. All right. Okay. Coolest place you've ever been to. Philippines. Favorite food. Sushi. Favorite television series of all time? Oh, MASH. Hands down, MASH. Biggest pet peeve? Um, my students would say it's when they don't staple their papers before they bring them to class. Would probably be my biggest <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's annoying. Um, <laughs> who do you most look up to? My parents. And why? Um, my dad was a altruistic, benevolent man who put other people first all the time and just really loved being our dad. And my mom is is um, like a beautiful person to guide us and compassionate and very strong and uh, they're big shoes to fill. Yeah, they're great people. Excellent. I think we should end on that. That was amazing. Um, I, I want to just thank you so much for, for taking the time out. Um, and just sharing a little bit of who you are with us and, and with the Ridgewood community. Um, and just want to wish you all the best. Have a wonderful weekend um, and yeah. just enjoy the outdoors like we can see you are. Yes, yes. Good to see you. Good luck, everyone. I know this is tough, but hang in there. Yeah, thanks, Ms. Pinches. You're such a uh, you're such a positive influence and, 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 and presence in our school building. So it's really it's great to see you here. Um, and, um, you know, again, have a great weekend. All right. Thanks, you guys too. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.